Hello guys and welcome to this behind the scenes video over my winter break I'm going to be making some huge changes over here at the channel I have a gap in between school and uh, my contract for my other job So for the next I believe four weeks. I'm going to be focusing solely on the YouTube channel um, So a big part of that is actually renovating the studio and I'll talk about that in just a second All of this right behind me is going to get a big visual makeover uh, and then another part of that is pushing out a ton of content. I'm actually partnering uh, with PC Server and Parts again. Uh, they sent over a really, really beefy server, and I have a cool project planned out for that server, and I'm super excited about it. But back to what we are all here for, the behind this, the behind the scenes video. And if you guys couldn't tell, um, these behind the scenes videos are pretty informal. I usually don't make too many cuts. This one might be an exception because I'm going to do a lot of uh, time-lapse footage. Uh, but generally, these aren't too formal. And this is actually a series I've been doing for a very long time. Uh, the only difference uh, here is that I'm actually uploading this behind-the-scenes video to the YouTube channel. And I will now be doing that from now on because, unfortunately, I've been uh, downgraded to uh, the second-tier internet plan. I don't have high-speed upload anymore. Um, so I will not be able to host the behind the scenes video on the on-site server, which is back there in the closet. Now let's talk about visual upgrades. So one big change that you might notice I've made already is I've installed this pendant light right here. Um, I was just testing it out, making sure everything arrived in one piece and it did not. We're actually missing a piece right here. There's a little uh, brass piece that's supposed to cover this white fitting. Um, and uh, I contacted the company. Uh, this is sold by Worf Home Products, and they immediately got back to me, said they were sending the piece over. Uh, so great customer service from them. Now, the cool thing about this is that, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it goes right over a recessed can light fixture, uh, just like that one. It has my recessed light in it. So this actually goes right over that. You don't have to uh, do any sort of uh, electrician work. Uh, really easy. It's plug and play. As you can see, I didn't cover the can completely just because I put this on as a test. I didn't center it. Um, so you can still see a small piece of the recessed light uh, coming out from there. Uh, but once I actually get um, the background in, so <laughs> I'm jumping all over the place. So all of this stuff is coming off and I'm going to put wood paneling on here, so uh, MDF wood paneling uh, from Home Depot, and I'm going to put all of this back on. And in addition to the wall art I have here, I have a bunch of new wall art uh, along with frames for it. So I got new frames, um, and then I got some smaller uh, poster frames. Uh, here's one too. Um, that's one of the uh, NASA posters. And then we have some smaller poster frames in here. Now all this stuff that you're looking at in this pile, is uh, for the coming upgrade. So I have new lighting. Check out some of the lights right here. There is a, a string of pendant lights in this box, a 100 watt um, Edison uh, LED bulb, or 100 watt equivalent, sorry, it's actually a 12 watt bulb. Um, and then a bunch of cable ties and some extra lighting. Now this is going to be a multi-day project and therefore probably a very, very lengthy video. So if you don't like sitting through long videos, this is not going to be the video for you. So why are you staring at the ceiling right now? Well, this is the first part of the project. So what I'm gonna do is put a wooden beam up here. I'm gonna mount that with uh, steel piping and steel floor flanges. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Um, I'm gonna take that wood beam, mount it from that recessed light, to this recess light, and then from that wooden beam, I'm going to hang pendant lights all the way down the wall. Now I called this a beam, and that's a little bit of an overstatement because this really isn't meant to bear any sort of load. This is actually a wood that you're supposed to use for landscaping, um, but it looks all nice and roughed up um, after I paint over it and uh, finish off some of the fine edges with a sander. Um, it should look a lot better um, than it does now. The first thing I had to do is actually cut this down to size. So I believe this is 10 feet long, uh, a little bit less than 10 feet. Um, so I'm gonna have to cut about two feet of this um, off and then I can uh, sand it down and paint it. 
Unfortunately, almost all of the footage from the wooden beam pendant light installation was lost. My camera ate all of the clips except for the one you are watching right now. And I really want to show you guys that part of the project because personally, it was my favorite part of the project. I really liked um, building this. I mean, it's a simple light fixture, but I think it looks pretty neat. Uh, so I started out by cutting the wood down to about eight feet. Uh, sanded the wood down, put a layer of stain over it. Now, unfortunately, the stain that I bought was terrible. Um, it actually went on like paint, and it was a lot more brown than I thought it would be. It was labeled as premium stain in the Home Depot stain section, but it was really anything but premium. I would have been better off with going uh, with a cheaper stain. Now, despite that fact, I still think this turned out pretty well. My mounting solution worked out well. It was easy to get this thing up and onto the ceiling. At that point, since I had the light fixture mounted, it was time to add the MDF wood paneling. So time to pull everything off the walls, cut the wood paneling down, and nail it into the wall stud. So that's what the next montage is going to be. Uh, and of course, after that, I have to hang all of the wall art back up. And here we are, this is the almost complete studio, and I'm saying almost because I am missing one critical component that every single tech channel on YouTube must have in order to be considered a official tech channel. And that component is actually sitting in that box right over there. We're gonna unbox it in just a sec. But let me take you around the studio real quick because everyone always asks, you know, how does recording here actually work? Um, first off, so one of the questions I get is, how do you record like this with, you know, these two big monitors in the way? Um, and the way I have this set up is the secondary vertical monitor actually folds back and out of the way for when I'm recording. So I just take it, move it back over here. And now I have plenty of room to record like so. Now, secondly, Let's take a look at how the lighting works over here, because if you haven't noticed, it is a little bit dark on the desk now. There is no above head lighting. There is not a recess light right here. So generally, you know, if you try to film here, it's going to be pretty dark. So this is what I've done. This is my solution to that problem. So I have two drafting lamps. One has a 60 watt uh, LED bulb in it, and the other one has a 100 watt equi equivalent um, LED bulb in it. So these both just pull out like so. And depending on how much light I want, I could either center this one or this one up here right over the desk. And now I have plenty of light to work with. Looking at the backdrop, you can see that this looks way different from what I originally had. And that was the whole point of this little renovation. So right here, I have replaced that white lamp uh, with this smaller lamp. Now we have all of our NASA posters on the bottom. I moved that big space shuttle picture 
over to the side right there. So still have that sticking around because I do like that. I just couldn't find a place for it right here. It looked really out of place because of the way the, the frame is. It's a silver frame and it just doesn't look uh, quite right against the wood backing. Have some patent art right here. Have some old NASA documents at the top um, from the Langley Library. They're getting rid of these. Uh, they just put them out for people to take. Um, so I thought it'd be cool to uh, frame these. I also have the same over here. There's a couple NASA documents in there with uh, some Centennial stickers and a couple of our miscellaneous stickers. Uh, I have our Raspberry Pi portal art right there. Um, I had that made, uh, I made that myself and actually I did that in uh, Microsoft Office PowerPoint and then I just had it printed through eBay. It was like five bucks to get the thing printed. Uh, everyone always asks me, you know, where did you get that from? Where can I buy that? Well, I, the answer is you can't because I made it myself. There, You could easily make that design and have it printed on eBay for like five bucks once again. Uh, we have some scotch. On the shelves, uh, if you if I move back here, you can see that this kind of looks more like a bar than a set. Oopsie. <laughs> have a camera over here. Uh, this was something I bought from a garage sale and it's just been sitting around. I thought it would look cool if I put it out here. A little Android, another bottle of scotch. There's our logo and a little bit more wall art off to the side. And here's a small detail that you might have not noticed, but did take a significant amount of time. And that was uh, redoing all of the cable management. So I originally had like 3M uh, command strips here holding all this in place. Um, and they would fall off all the time. So I gave up and I bought these uh, cable clamps that just screw into the wall. Um, so these are permanently in the wall. They are pretty easy to remove, um, but they are not going anywhere unlike those uh, 3M command strips. So I completely redid the uh, Ethernet cable management. And I also did the same sort of cable management over here and under my desk. So you didn't actually see that in the time lapse. That's something I did off camera because it's not really relevant to you guys. It's, it's more of something I did for me because I was getting annoyed with it. Uh, but just a small detail I wanted to throw out there. Okay, so now it's time to throw the finishing touches or actually just the finishing touch onto our studio. And it is sitting inside that box. So let's open it. And here we go. So as you can see, I did order some more acoustic panels. Uh, but that's not really relevant to this uh, little renovation I have going on. And, ooh, here we go. What could it be? It is that same generic green Ikea plant that you see on every single tech channel. I have one now. All right, so let's make it official. I hereby christen this renovation it is complete. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. That's going to be about it for this behind the scenes video. Um, yeah, that looks really, really, uh, once again, I just take this light and kind of toss it off to the side. Really, really, really loving how this turned out. So happy new year, happy holidays. I will see you guys in the next installment of A Computers and Technology. Oh, and one more thing. I know I'm going to get questions with regards to where I bought all this stuff. I mean, some of it I made myself, like the uh, lighting up there. Um, but for instance, the frames, the posters, the pendant lights, you know, all that stuff. I'll put the links to all that down in the description. So if you guys want to grab any of that, um, feel free to check the uh, description for the links.